Wait, is this Kalfmo? How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Just look, is this a pregnant Pomni? Oh my god, this is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. They really look like they're pregnant. That this is the biggest boss in all the Barry prison escapes? To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Oh, sorry, I was looking for, um, my car keys. I am already leaving. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from our amazing digital circus. This map is a little different from the previous one we played, but nevertheless, we were told that it would be a little more difficult. Look! There are unusual platforms there. They extend and levitate. I think it will be really more difficult than what we went through earlier. I like that the map creators really experiment and bring something new to the game. It really added a lot of variety to the gameplay. I really hope they change the bosses at least a little. Last time, the bosses were quite detailed and very similar to us. I wonder what they will be like this time. Oh my god, just look, is this a pregnant Pomni? Why is she so pot-bellied then? She's really very pot-bellied here. Well, I hope because of this she will run after us more slowly and will not catch up with us. I think she's catching up with us! Oh, looks like it! She followed us up to the second floor! Well, I think we can easily escape from her. Great! The first boss is behind us. I really hope they didn't make all the bosses so pot-bellied. Otherwise, it would be too weird. Now we need to run to the room with toilets. Let's try to set a record and not open other doors, but just open the one that actually has a tunnel in it. I definitely remember that the tunnel is in toilet stall number two. Yes, he ended up here. That's cool. Let's go through both of these dungeons now. You mean a dungeon with platforms and a tunnel with a rolling boulder? By the way, look, they changed the obby. Here you need to jump on these platforms and press the button. This is much cooler than a dilapidated bridge and a bridge with some strange liquid. We've almost completed this obby, and now we're facing the rolling boulder challenge. This is one of the easiest challenges in this game. But first we need to jump on this garbage that someone threw into the lava. By the way, what is this anyway? It looks like some kind of baskets and server racks. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just try to quickly get through this tunnel with a rolling boulder, and we will meet the boss knight. I'm very interested in who will be the boss of the night in this mode. Well, now we find out. Last time we played Escape from our Circus, this boss was Zubal. Now we will see who will be here. Oh my god. This is also Zubal. And she is also very pot-bellied. Well, she looks very funny. They really look like they're pregnant. Crap! She got stuck and now we have to wait until she lays down to run around her and go to the tower with dilapidated steps. Great, we ran around it. And now we need to quickly run to this tower with dilapidated steps. Let's hurry up. We've already gone quite far, and it only took us 170 seconds. Now we have a race with energy drinks. And here comes the energy drink vending machine. Wow, I really love this obby with energy drinks because everything happens so fast here. This is very cool. I wish the entire mode could be completed at that speed. By the way, guys, what character do you think edits our videos? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. And you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well guys, did you write a comment? I hope you answered correctly. The correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes. You were right again. It's Gangle. Great job guys, well done. And now we have a race with fans ahead of us. This is also one of the easiest tasks in this mode. We have never managed to lose on it. I think I can easily pass this test. I have passed this test many times already and have never failed. I really want to set a record this time. So far we're doing pretty well. And now we are waiting for those same tedious tests with valves that infuriate us so much. It would be great if they changed this task at least a little. Well now we'll check it. Let's quickly make our way through these pipes to the very top and see what awaits us there. Oh, just look! They even added levitating cubes here. Well, it really diversified this game a little, like these pipes instead of the platforms that were here before. Well, that was pretty easy, but very boring. Now let's quickly go to the race with the fans. This is also one of my favorite obbies in this game because here we also have to run pretty fast. Yes, I completely agree with you. It's really a lot of fun, and one of the most interesting challenges in this game. Now, we need to be as concentrated as possible because we are really coping with this game very quickly and we can set a record in it. We finally got to the cafeteria. Wait, is this Kaufmo? I was hoping to see anyone here, but not him. It is very funny. Wait, is it stuck in the table? 
Oh my god, Kaufmo, you are as useless as always. How did you even get stuck in this table, buddy? Are you serious? Come on, maybe you can at least try to run after us a little. It finally happened. Well, I thought that he would stand on this table forever. In any case, we will kill him pretty quickly because this is one of the easiest bosses in the game. And also, because it's Kaufmo! He was always so slow. Well, let's deal with him as quickly as possible and move forward. We have very little time left before meeting the final boss. I also think that we need to speed up a little because we are very close to setting a new record. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel with lasers. And after that, we will need to go to the location where there is a task with bridges. Well, there are only two simple steps left before meeting the final boss. And we have almost passed this tunnel with lasers. Just a little left. This task is also quite easy, but it is not the easiest in this game because several times we managed to die by touching the lasers. And here is the task with bridges. Wait, did they remove the need to install bridges here and just leave platforms? Okay, this will be pretty easy. Let's jump over them and go to the final boss. And here comes the final boss robot Kane. Just look how huge it is. It seems to me that this is the biggest boss you've ever seen. Yes, it also seems to me that this is the biggest boss in all the Barry Prison Escapes. This boss doesn't need to shoot off his arms, just shoot him in the body. But it's very strange that he doesn't even try to shoot at us, but just runs after us. Nevertheless, we dealt with it very easily. Well, we managed to complete this map in 500 seconds. It was pretty easy. Now let's move on to the next game. Wait, is this really me? But where are my eyes? Kane, buddy, what did they do to you? Wow, now we're just like a fire-breathing dragon. Um, what car? Seriously? Just look! We have some kind of bazooka or something like that in our inventory. Shoot him, Jax! We can't let this guy get ahead of us in this test! Kill him as soon as possible? Great! We did it! Oh no, I think he has a bazooka. Hello everyone, friends, and today we are playing the amazing Digital Circus Obby. Wait, is this really me? But where are my eyes? Kane, buddy, what did they do to you? Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and see what challenges await us here. Everything here is so colorful. This is very similar to the design of our circus. I wonder what awaits us at the end. I hope they give us some really cool prize or something. I hope that at the end they will give us some boosts with which we can stop some guys from playing like we did last time. Sorry, am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. Well, let's go forward and hope. It is quite possible that we will also be given the opportunity to do this here. By the way, have you noticed that we have already been given some kind of loot? It's an energy drink and some weird teddy bear. Well, that doesn't really help us troll other guys. Maybe they will give us something better? We have a spring for a high jump. True, this won't really help us troll. But they also gave us some kind of Tabasco, which made us smoke with fiery breath. Wow, now we're just like a fire-breathing dragon. This is great. I hope we can hurt someone with this thing. Um... What? Car? Seriously? Now can we pass this obby by car? This is very cool. Jax, be careful! It's still a car! It is not designed to be driven on such a surface! Now do you understand that you can't drive a car on such tests? Wait, we're already at stage 26, but we're only 4% through this obby. I think it should work a little differently. We definitely won't get through it to the end today. By the way, look, we now have a grappling hook. But Jax, unfortunately, does not know how to use it. Let's try to go as far as possible without boosts. It seems to me that they only hinder us. It would be great if we were given a spiral acceleration. We could go really far with her. I want to try to drive along this road by car. Oh my god, I don't think I can do this. This car is uncontrollable. It seems to me that the problem is that you just don't know how to drive. Let's try to drive this route by car. I think this is a bad idea. Let's keep going through this obby like we always do. Oh wait, they gave us some kind of dinosaur. Um. Dinosaur on the head? It's very strange, but okay, let's just go ahead. It seems to me that we can use a car in this tunnel and take off on it like a springboard. Let's try this, Jax. I can't believe we're actually flying! This is very cool! Well, I think we're flying too far and now we might go off the track. Who would have thought this really happened? Well, that was pretty obvious. It's good that we managed to fly through several stages. This really helped us. Oh, just look! This is a slide like in a water park. This is very cool. I really enjoy this challenge. By the way, guys, there's one character among us who simply loves water parks. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. So guys, have you guessed who it is? Okay, 
then the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you guessed it right again. It's a bubble. Great, guys. It was pretty easy. Now let's continue to go through this, Obby. Jax, are you serious about using the car again? I don't think this is the best solution. Well, that's what I was talking about. Okay, let's continue to get through this on our own. We're at stage 43, and we're already 72% of the way through this game. Well, this is very cool. I hope we can go even further. Just look. We have some kind of bazooka or something like that in our inventory. Let's find someone and try it out. Let's check how she shoots. Oh, it seems to me that we aimed slightly in the wrong direction. Let's hit that target now. Yes, she shoots very cool. In addition to this, we also have an acceleration spiral. With its help, we can pass all these tests very quickly. Wow, we really accelerated a lot. But it seems to me that every time the completion percentage of this game is constantly falling because we are already at the 61st stage and we have completed only 44% of this game. Why do they keep giving the wrong percentages? It is very strange. Well, let's hurry up and try to get to the end of this game as quickly as possible. I really hope that we can complete it completely today. That would be very cool. I think that here we can use a spring for a strong jump so that we don't have to constantly guess the correct passage. Yes, it was the best decision. Well, now we can get to the finish line much faster. Great, we completed this task very quickly. I'm really looking forward to testing our bazooka in action. By the way, look, there's a guy taking a test right in front of us. We need to catch up with him and kill him. Shoot him, Jax! We can't let this guy get ahead of us in this test! Great! We're getting into it! This is a very easy target for us! I think we missed several hits. I think we need to close the distance with him. Let's pass this test with notes and try to catch up with him. Look, this guy stands in one place. I think now is the best time to shoot him and send him behind us. Do not stop! Shoot Jax! Kill him as soon as possible! Great! We did it! Now we can run forward! I hope he doesn't have a bazooka and won't shoot at us! Let's turn around and take a look. Oh no, I think he has a bazooka. Damn, he hit us! Let's try to dodge his projectiles and try to hit him. Maybe we can kill him a second time and escape from him? I think now we can use the car to quickly get away from him, but this turn really confuses me. Jax, will you ever learn to drive this car? Let's try again. Maybe we can actually drive away in it? I think using a car is the worst decision in this game, but for some reason you keep trying to drive it to the finish line. Guys, this car is out of control. You won't be able to drive it far. Better use an acceleration spiral or something like that to overcome this challenge. Okay, let's just go ahead. Maybe we can get to the end with the help of this dinosaur? By the way, fireworks appeared in our inventory, but it seems to me that this is the most useless thing we could ever get. Well, I don't think we'll be able to get to the end of this game because it's endless. The percentage of completion of this game constantly drops to zero, and it's as if we are starting to go through it all over again. I think we should move on to the next game. I think you're right, because I'm sure that when I reach the end of this challenge, my completion percentage will drop to zero again. Well, okay, let's just move on to the next game. Maybe it will be more interesting? It actually looks like some kind of black moon in a white sky or something like that. This is very similar to the iron ingot from Minecraft. What kind of strange big-eared guy is this? I think it's Jax! Maybe it's a bubble because there's water here? What the f is this piece of sh Hello everyone friends, and today we are playing Roblox Quiz again. Today we will choose other quizzes, and our first quiz is Guess the Character by his Roblox Avatar. Well, I think that everything is obvious here. Let's write his name and... Yes! This was the correct answer. Listen, it seems to me that this will be easy. Everything is obvious here today, as for me... I think the correct answer here would be Pomni. Great. It was very easy. Oh! Someone opened the whole door for us! Great! Now I think we need to write Zubel. Well, let's try to write it. She really looks a lot like you. The only thing that gives it away is the oval head sticking out from under your triangular head. Wait, Jax. Did you actually write the name Pomni? Do you really think she looks like her? Hooray! Great! This was the correct answer! This is a very easy quiz! Here the characters are not veiled in any way. Let's write the correct answer here and move on. And this is Regatta. Cool. It's very easy for us today. Well, now you need to correctly guess this guy's name. Who do you think this is, Jax? But it's all obvious, it's a gangle. 
Okay, let's try to write this name. Yes, we were right. Well, that was very easy. We only have two questions left and we know the answers to them. Let's try to go through this much faster and complete this quest to the end. What kind of strange big-eared guy is this? I think it's Jax! Great! This was the correct answer. Well, the last question. The answer to this will be quite easy, I think. Wait, Jax, did you really spell his name wrong? Seriously? Actually correct, C-A-I-N-E. I think it's time for Jax to get some spelling lessons. Okay, this quiz is over. Now we can try to guess the next quiz. Well, let's go to him. I think we need to choose some more difficult quiz. Can you guess the character by his mouth? Hmm. Whose mouth do you think this is? It actually looks like some kind of black moon in a white sky or something like that. Are you guys serious? It's my mouth! Okay, let's write your name. Yes, we answered correctly. Well, that was very easy. But then it's a little more complicated. Just look at that jaw and white teeth. I only know one character in our circus who has a jaw and white teeth, and it's Kane. Cool. We answered correctly. It was very easy. Wait, this is very similar to the iron ingot from Minecraft. I can't even imagine whose mouth this is. Maybe we can try writing Pomni's name? Yes, and we turned out to be right. Well, that was very easy. Only two mouths left. Look at that mouth. I don't understand who it could belong to. Could it be Ragatha? Yes, and this was the correct answer! Wait, what? Completely pink question? Hmm, who among us all could have such a mouth? Well, for example, my mouth is not visible, so I think you can write my name. Well, let's try it. And yes, that was the correct answer. Listen, this was also a very easy quiz. Let's find something really challenging. I saw nearby there were quizzes in which you need to squint your eyes. And here he is! Squint your eyes to guess the character part two. Well, let's try. Okay. I narrowed my eyes. Who is this? I think it's very similar to Zubal. Yes, we were right. It was very easy. Okay, now I'm trying to squint my eyes and I can't see anything. Guys, maybe you know the correct answer? Let's check our viewers. Maybe our viewers will answer correctly who is shown in this picture? Well, okay. Guys, pause the video and write the correct answer in the comments. You will help us a lot with this. Well, did you squint your eyes? Great, now let's see the correct answer. Yes, guys, you were right. It's me, cool. Now we move on to the next picture. This picture isn't that complicated. Here is a huge ball with lightning. Its silhouette is very similar to a bubble. Well, let's try entering the name of the bubble here. Maybe you really will be right. And we guessed right again. We are real professionals in this game. Well, here are two mountains drawn at the foot of which there is some strange dude and two islands flying in the sky. What could it be? Bubble, how many times have we already asked you to fix your microphone? And this image is absolutely exactly me. I am sure about that. Write my name and you definitely won't go wrong. Just look, he really got it right. To be honest, I didn't notice the real picture even when I squinted my eyes. And here I am absolutely sure that Kane is drawn. I recognize these eyes from all the eyes in the world. Just this time, try to write my name correctly and not like you did last time. Bro, are you serious? Why did you decide to write the wrong title? Maybe you forgot how to spell my name again? Relax, I'm just kidding. I was thinking maybe there is some kind of bug in this game and it actually counts all the answers. But as you can see, this is not so. And now I wrote your name correctly and we moved forward. Let's try to guess which character is depicted here. I can see immediately from the first try that this character is very similar to Jax. Well, let's try to write his name. Yes, that was the correct answer. Cool! Wait here, fireworks and everything pink? I only know one pink character in our circus, so I'll enter the name Zubal. Yes, that was the correct answer again. We're coping pretty easily today. It's very easy here too. Here is a black smile on a white background. I only know one character who has a similar face. He looks a lot like a gangle. Well, that was also the correct answer. Today everything is very easy. Wait, but who's here? I really don't understand who this looks like. Maybe it's a bubble because there's water here? No, we are wrong. Hmm, maybe it's Kofmo then? Also incorrect. Guys, write in the comments who you see here. Personally, I can't make sense of this image. Okay guys, pause the video and write your answer in the comments. Don't forget to squint your eyes to see the answer better. I hope you have already written your correct answer and guessed it right. Now I will write the correct answer to this question. And it was Ragatha. Everything was very simple. But here the obvious correct answer is Kane. Super! We did it on the first try.
And the last question for today, who is shown in this picture? I think it looks a lot like Pomni because of those things she has on her hat. Let's enter her name and yes, we were right again. Well, that was a pretty easy quiz. Next time we'll go through the hardest quiz in this game. Now let's move on to the next game. I still have too many questions for this guy. Just look at this muscular guy. Wow, Jax, where did you learn to dance so cool? Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Scary Elevator again. This elevator is completely different from the ones we played before. Everything looks completely different here. Well, let's see what awaits us in this game. Oh my god, what's wrong with us? We are so huge! Wait, what is this corridor? Oh, this is Lil Pump and Kanye West! I remember this clip, this song has been popular for a very long time. Okay, the first floor was pretty weird. By the way, guys, do you know who the biggest fan of these performers among us is? Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you pause this video and write in the comments who it could be. Well, guys, you wrote your comment, and great! And now the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Well, let's see what awaits us ahead. I hope that there will be quite interesting floors with interesting loot. Okay, here's the next floor. Wait, is that Obby? Wow! I'm wondering, will we be able to get through to the end? Let's try to pass this Obby on the first try. Well, the first attempt was unsuccessful, but I think this obby is quite heavy. Everything here is very bright, and because of this, it is difficult to perform some jumps here. Come on, Jax, try better. We need to find out what's at the end of this obby. Maybe they will give us some rewards. By the way, have you noticed that we have some coins in the lower left corner? I wonder what these coins can buy. I'll have to check what's in the store for this game. Jax, why can't you pass this obby? You are a professional in passing such maps. Unfortunately, this time, we didn't succeed. Well, that's okay. We will definitely come back here next time and complete it to the end. And now, we will find out what awaits us on the next floor. I hope there will be something really interesting there. Okay, here's the next floor. There is some kind of additional door here, and there is an invisible wall through which we are not allowed. But why did that guy get in? It is very strange. Do you even see how this guy who is lying on the floor is spinning? He hangs out very strangely. Wait, what? Is our floor falling in? It was very strange. I hope that next time, they will let us through the invisible wall, and we will be able to get through these strange doors. Now let's wait for the next floor. Wow. This is some kind of blue location, and some speaker is telling us something. Oh my god, I think this is the ghost floor. I think we need to be careful. I wouldn't really want to go inside there. Yes, everything here looks really creepy. It's strange that some invisible wall is again preventing us from entering this floor. Well, I don't really want to listen to this speaker. He says some very mysterious, mystical nonsense. Let's just wait for the next floor. Wait, are we stuck in the ceiling? What is going on? Do you see how this elevator is shaking? Oh my god, it was quite strange. Well, I hope there won't be any bugs on the next floor. Okay, let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Wait, is there an option to use emotions here? Look, we can sit. Cool, let's walk the entire next floor while sitting. I think it will be very cool. I wonder what floor will be next. Okay, just look. Here, everything is blue again. It looks like some kind of platforms. Is this going to be a dance competition? This strange dog tells us that now we will compete in a dance. Okay, we were teleported to these platforms. And now we will need to choose the right color. Well, let's start the dance. But it seems to me that this song is not very suitable for a dance competition. Rather, it is suitable for some kind of anime opening or something like that. I really hope that we will be able to take some prizes. I think we dance very cool and manage to click on the right platforms. Wow, Jax! Where did you learn to dance so cool? It seems to me that in order to manage to click on different colored platforms in time, you need real skill. You have a very good reaction but I still think the guy doing it to our left does it a little better. Let's see what our result is. Well, no big deal. This was our first attempt. I think if we go to this floor again, we will definitely take a prize. Now let's move on. I think we should turn off this emotion and try to walk. Look what a convenient place I came up with for myself. Okay, okay, let's turn off the emotion and continue running. I wonder what test awaits us on the next floor. Wow, everything turned black and white. 
Wait, is it me, or is there a train coming in the distance? He's coming straight at us! Oh, I think I need to move to the wall! Wait, did he actually go through the elevator? Seriously? He made a hole in the walls of the elevator. I think this was the strangest floor we've seen today. Well, I hope that the next floor will be at least a little more understandable. Maybe we can get something interesting there. I mean, loot or something like that. Okay, it's a black hole! Wait, is it just me, or is our viewing angle changing? I don't understand. Are we getting smaller or bigger, or what's going on? Why is everything stretched out? It was fascinating, but very strange. Yes, I completely agree. This one is too mystical. Well, it's a pity that there was no loot here. Let's now move on to the next floor. Oh, just look. This guy has some funny emotions. I wonder how we can open them. I'd love to show off my muscles, too. Well, here's the next floor. Look, there are cows in very pleasant weather. They look pretty funny. But what to do with them? It's just some cow pasture. Uh, I think we need to sit on one of the cows. Wait, why is this guy standing right with this sheep? What is he doing? Okay, I think we'll just sit on this cow and enjoy the beautiful weather. I still have too many questions for this guy. Okay, that's over too. And now let's wait on the next floor. Everything has gotten so dark here. Who turned off the light? Oh no, looks like our elevator is broken. Well, it seems that we will have to wait until this elevator is repaired and we get out of here. Look! Some kind of hole! Could this be a fire exit? But I think not! We just fell somewhere! Wait, did we fall into the elevator again? But where is the guy with the cool emotions? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just wait for the next floor. This floor is like a beach floor! Wait, I recognize this sound! Moto Moto? Will he emerge from the water now? Damn, this is very cool. Just look at this muscular guy. Oh my god, is this really a Moto Moto noob? God, he has such a cool figure. I want to become as muscular as him. Okay, looks like he'll be riding in this elevator with us. Well, I really like it. And now let's move on to the next game. There's a Zubal and some digitized guy. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. Oh no! I think this guy is going to kill us now! Yes, I was right! We're going straight to Jax's mouth! Just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line! Hello everyone, friends! Today we will ride the cart again, but this time we will ride in my mouth. To be honest, I liked riding in Pomni's mouth more. Well, let's get in the cart and see what awaits us ahead! I hope that Jax remembers that here you definitely need to slow down before turns, otherwise we may fly off this track. I hope we can complete this route the first time! Oh, just look! There's a Zubal and some digitized guy! It's strange why he got to the surface. The last one to be digitized was Kaufmo, and we hit him in the basement. Yes! This is really very strange! But I'm very glad that I see myself in the second game in a row! I love it! I didn't think there would be so much attention to me. Just look! There at the end is the very Jax to which we are going. Well, I hope that this route will not cause us any difficulties. I think we're doing pretty well so far. The main thing is not to forget to slow down on all turns ahead. Otherwise, we will be eaten by the Glonic Queen. Did you really just call her the Glonic Queen? Okay, it doesn't matter. Look, they made a mini obstacle here. But I'm very attentive, and that's why I was able to overcome it. Just look how high this climb is. It seems to me that we will rise forever. Wait, did you fall? Really? But why did this happen? You were driving very slowly. It's good that we have a sword, and now we will defend ourselves from these guys. Wait, did he touch us? Oh no, we can now be digitized. Damn, we urgently need to find a way out of here. Oh no, I think this guy is going to kill us now. Yes, I was right. Well, let's try to start again. Maybe we can get to the very top on our second try. The main thing is to drive very slowly on the climb so that we don't fly off this road again. The main thing is not to rush. Jax is constantly in a hurry to get to the finish line, but because of this, he loses. Buddy, be as careful as possible and control your speed. This is your main task. Yes, it's very funny that the creators of this map added several small challenges in the middle of the race. We may accidentally miss them and fall down. I see Jax really trying this time and slowing down before every turn. Well done, Jax. I really want to finish this game today. I think we started going too slow. This speed is really slower than the speed of a turtle. I would like us to speed up a little. 
but unfortunately, I know that we can't do this because we could lose again. Guys, stop giving me different requests all the time. You either ask to increase the speed or reduce it. I don't know what I need to do anymore. The only thing I know is that I need to go up this climb as slowly as possible because last time I fell down it. I really hope that this time we won't fall off it. This is truly one of the most dangerous places in all of these roller coasters. The main thing is to keep the minimum speed and just go up. By the way, guys, there is one character among us who simply loves racing games and high speed. Now his shadow will appear on the screen and you try to pause and guess who it is. Well, guys, did you write your answer in the comments? Great! Well done! And now the correct answer will appear in three, two, one, and yes, you were right. This is a gangle. I just love racing games like Gran Turismo or Forza. The guys gave me a gaming steering wheel and pedals for my last birthday. And now I play these games all the time. I'm a huge fan of everything related to cars and speed. Great! We're finally at the top! I think that it's not worth increasing the speed yet because at any moment we can fall and we don't know if there are hidden obstacles from the developers here. The main thing now is not to accidentally lose sight of them. We're already about halfway there. I hope nothing happens now that will make us fall down. Otherwise I will be very angry. I really don't want to lose because we have come far enough. Look guys, just a little left. Here are the last climbs and look, there's a secret obstacle ahead again. Oh cool, there's also a miniature Jax waiting for us. He really looks a lot like Jax when he smiles. I've never seen Jax genuinely smile. Usually he smiles extremely maliciously and very unkindly. It's funny that here they decided to portray Jax as cheerful and not angry or sad. Stop talking bad about him. He really tries. By the way, look. All we have to do is drive along this straight line and we will be at the very finish. The main thing is not to forget to regulate the speed. Otherwise, we may end up at the bottom and be eaten by gloinks. I think you and I have a slightly different idea of straight lines. Perhaps you wanted to say that we will no longer have ups and downs here? Well, last time we played, our cart was hanging halfway over the abyss. This time we are going very smoothly, and I think nothing will stop us from reaching the finish line. Oh my god, just look! We are almost right at the finish line. We're going straight to Jax's mouth. Now there is an obby ahead of us. Let's get through it quickly. Just look, they gave us a speed spring. This means that now we can go through these buildings much faster. Jax, quickly take it, and let's run forward. Wow, just look how quickly we started moving forward. Why didn't we use this thing last time? We could go through this entire obby in seconds. Yes, just look how fast we are moving towards the finish line. But don't forget to be careful, otherwise we may end up at the very bottom. We are already at the very top. It happens so fast. I don't even have time to notice how quickly our progress bar is moving. Yes, I also really like how quickly we go through all these tests. I wonder if they changed the final task in this game or not? I think no, they left it the same. But I can't say it's bad, because I really like the boosts they give at the very end. Well, in any case, we will check it very soon. A spiral staircase awaits us ahead. I think you should be as careful as possible on it because with one awkward movement, you can fly to the very bottom. Jax moves quite confidently, and now we are faced with a test in which we need to choose the right passages. But seriously? Did you just go ahead and win? I think this was the easiest task in this game. Well, great! We have reached the finish line. Just look. Yes, they haven't changed anything, but I think we'll sit on the Ferris wheel. Yes, this game was quite interesting. I liked her very much, and I liked even more that they chose me as the main character. Now we're on to the next game. I'm a real handsome guy here. How does it feel when you shoot by yourself? It's a little weird. Wow, this is really me. It's Pomni. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from our amazing digital circus. This looks like my bedroom. But wait, how do they know what my bedroom looks like? What's going on here anyway? Well, the standard start, as in all Barry Prison Run. Let's see how hard they worked on the design of this map. Wow! Everything here is so colorful. I've never seen them make everything so colorful. I really like the beginning. Who do you think they made as the first boss? I would really like to see myself as the boss of one of the stages. Well, we have to find out now. But I really doubt that you were made one of the bosses, Kinger. You're right! Here comes the first boss. It's Pomni! I still don't lose hope that I will see myself in the place of one of the bosses of this mode. She has a very creepy and empty look, as if she just found out that she has no way out of this circus. Yes, I also remember her surprised expression on her face. 
Have you heard this scream? God, my voice isn't that rough. Why did they decide to choose this particular sound? This doesn't look like me at all. Well, otherwise, in general, this boss was very similar to you. By the way, did you notice that instead of bridges, a spiral staircase is used here? This is quite an interesting solution. I've never seen this before in modes similar to Barry's prison break. And now we will find ourselves in the toilet. Wow, it looks of course very cool, but it doesn't look like our toilet at all. We basically don't use the toilet at all. We are digital. We don't need to relieve ourselves. But they decided to make the dungeon in the style of the Gloink Queen's nest. This looks very cool. But the only thing missing here is the Gloink Queen herself. It would be great if we had to run away from her here. This would be a very cool innovation. Who knows? Maybe we'll see her next. But I really like the way the design has been changed here. Everything really looks very similar to our circus. What's that pink liquid down there? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Now we move on to the rolling boulder challenge, and unfortunately there is no Queen Gloink here either. Well, it's not a problem, because lately I've been so tired of her that I wouldn't even want to see her in games. I totally agree with you. I wouldn't really want to see her either because she could change our voices again. This really pisses me off. By the way, here is the staircase. Now we will find out who will be the next boss of this location. Everything indicates that it will be you, Zubal. Yes, that's how it is. Just look, you're really exactly the same here as in life. They made you look really similar. This boss has the same gloomy eyes as you. Wow, this is really me. Well, I'm very flattered that they decided to choose me as the boss knight. I'm very happy. I thought that they would choose anyone but not me. And it seems to me that I would be ideal for the role of the boss of a knight because I am a kinger, the king of knights. It seems to me that you can only be king of toy knights that you keep in your box and play with them. Then everyone goes to bed. Gangle, but I asked you not to talk about it. Well, now everyone will laugh and joke about this topic. Laugh as much as you want. My collection of knight figurines is worth $20,000. Really? These plastic Chinese men cost $20,000? Seriously? If I were you, I would think about buying us a new TV because I'm really tired of watching all our videos using my phone. By the way, guys, in addition to Kinger's strange hobby, there is another person in our circus with a strange collection. Just imagine, he collects plush elephants. Now you will see the shadow of this person on the screen and try to guess who it is. Pause the video and write your guesses in the comments. Well, have you already written? I hope that yes. And so the correct answer in three, two, one. That's right, it's Jax. Well, why did you tell everyone about this? Now everyone will laugh at this. When I was a child, I had a stuffed elephant whose name was Peter. I loved him very much. But one day, when I went to visit my grandmother, her dog secretly stole this elephant and tore this toy into small pieces. Since then, I really dislike dogs and collect stuffed elephants. But unfortunately, I have never seen one like Peter anywhere. I almost cried from this story, Jax. I didn't think that you were a person with such a refined soul. Well, I hope that someday you will definitely find exactly the same Peter as you had in childhood. Maybe you still have some photos? Yes! I only have one photo left, and this is the photo that helps me remember what he looks like. I've been trying to find the same stuffed elephant for many years, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anything. Well, okay. Let's not talk about sad moments and continue playing this game. We only have one valve left, and great, we did it! Well, let's move on now. In theory, a test awaits us next in which we will run through corridors with fans. Well, I really love this task because in it, the character develops enormous speed. By the way, yes. I completely forgot that this is the task ahead. Well, I'm sure that Jax will be able to pass it the first time because all he needs to do in this task is to press the jump button in time. It seems to me that the whole game here is to press the jump button at the right time. But nevertheless, this does not make her any less interesting and fun. In general, it seems to me that there are very few games like Barry's Prison Escape in Roblox. I'm practically not attracted to the other modes because there is nothing in them that would be interesting to me. Roblox has a huge number of interesting maps. There are cards based on anime and there are cards based on TV series. That's why I like Roblox, because you can create your own game based on what you love very much. Now we will get to the location with the next boss. I'm very interested in who will be the chef's boss here. Let's quickly go and find out. Look! 
There is something in the distance. I think this looks a lot like Jax. Yes, it's Jax. Oh my god, why is he so tall? You need to quickly run away from him. By the way, why are we now jumping so high? I think this happened because of a bug. When we jumped in the wind tunnel, the game didn't count our landing, and now it still thinks that we stayed there, and therefore didn't remove the super jump buff for us. Get Jax! I've always dreamed of doing this. Great! We managed to kill him. Jax, how does it feel when you shoot by yourself? Do you like it? It's a little weird because I don't really look like the character they made. This Jax is very tall. I'm not that tall in real life. Although maybe I would like to be like that. No need! Let's stay the same height as you are now, because if you get taller, we'll have to make the doorways even higher. And we simply don't have the budget for this. At least for now. Is it just me, or are we sliding down this slide very slowly? Yes! We even fly slowly. Perhaps this is due to a bug that allows us to jump very high. By the way, thanks to this bug, we quickly climbed to the very top. We didn't have to climb the stairs. And now we will climb the wind tunnel with lasers. Just look, they even went to the trouble of changing the colors of these lasers. This is very cool. I really, really like the design of this game because here, the creators didn't just recolor the textures, but added a huge number of new models. It really changed the game for the better. And now we have a test with bridges. But I think we won't use the bridges because we have a super jump, which means we can just jump over these platforms and go straight to the final boss mission. I wonder who will be the final boss. Just look! It's Kane the robot! Wow. They really tried hard and changed all the bosses in this game. They even changed the location and made the walls look like a circus fence. By the way, it's very cool that we have the ability to jump very high. This means that we can shoot at Kane while jumping, and he will not hit us with his hand minigun. Yeah, I really, really like the way they change my model. I'm a real handsome guy here. By the way, I'm done with one hand. We only have to shoot at the second one. Come on, Jax! Do it! You only have a few shots left to finish this boss. By the way, we managed to complete it in less than 550 seconds. I think this is definitely a new record. I really like this mode. The creators of this map really tried very hard to completely change all the bosses and the location. I'm sure we'll play this mode again someday. Now let's move on to the next game. Is this a car shaped like a big baby's head? Seriously? Looks like we'll have to fight off a huge crowd of kids who really want to kill us. Just look at this creepy face. What is it doing in this ventilation? Wait, did he fart? He fell. Just look. This kid is such a loser. Wait, what? No, not that. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Little Bobby's prison. Jax, I think you misspoke. It doesn't feel like a prison at all. It looks more like some kind of daycare. Yes, it seems to me that we just play too often in all sorts of modes in Roblox where you need to escape from somewhere and that's why we call them all prison. This is some kind of ventilation. Wait, what's the baby doing here? Okay, it doesn't matter. Now the main thing is to get away from here as soon as possible. We fell from the ventilation into some room. Oh my god, just look, this room is very huge. You need to pass all these tests. I wonder where they will take us. To be honest, I don't really understand why there are dangerous places like this in kindergarten. It seems to me that this is some kind of unusual kindergarten. Wait, an airplane? Do we really need to jump on a plane? This is already something similar to some kind of stunt tricks from cool films. Well, that was pretty easy. Jax, did you graduate from stuntman training? Okay, let's move on. I wonder what other interesting challenges this game has in store for us. No, I didn't even try. But I know who from our team definitely tried to be an actor in all sorts of extreme films. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you try to guess who it is. Pause this video and write in the comments about who can do it. And then turn on the video further and check if you answered correctly. Well, three, two, one. That's right, it's Kane. Yes, guys. I was even once called to star in cool films, but because I wanted to remain an entertainer in our wonderful circus, I abandoned this idea. I can't say that I regret it, but I had the opportunity. Kane, but you can fly! I think this ability is considered a cheat. Yes, you could definitely become a cool stuntman, but I think it would be uninteresting to watch how a flying guy copes with all sorts of difficulties. It doesn't matter at all! The main thing is that I have acting skills! Oh my god! Just look at this creepy face! What is it doing in this ventilation? I didn't expect to see this creepy face. I thought we were playing a walkthrough map and not a horror game. We fell into some room where children sleep. This baby snores very loudly. 
Just look at him. Wait, did he fart? He's so loud! He got up and is running after us! Oh my god! This baby looks very creepy! Wait! Why does he only have one eyebrow? It's too long and thick for a baby. He moves pretty fast. Perhaps he will be able to catch up with us. We need to do everything to prevent this from happening. I don't think it's a good idea to run away from him and face him. Don't worry, buddy. I'm a professional in this matter. I can run away from him even with my eyes closed. When is the end of this rise? It seems to me that this baby is getting closer and closer to us. I really hope that he won't be able to catch up with us because every time he gets closer and closer... Yes, it also seems to me that he can catch up with us soon. Look, and here comes the end. We need to press the button and jump into the ventilation. He fell. Just look, this kid is such a loser. Great. We were able to overtake him and now we are running away to another location. We're falling somewhere. Wait, what? No, not that. We're falling right into this baby's mouth. Oh my god. Did he eat us? Now we have to escape from it. Did we really fall right into this baby's mouth? God, this is just disgusting. Look, everything around is so green. Did he eat Lego pieces? It seems to me that this baby doesn't care what he eats. But why is everything green inside him? What does he eat? I think we'd better skip this question because we already play a lot of nasty games. To be honest, I don't even want to try to guess what these green things are. The main thing is that we need to jump over them and move on. What is this strange, spinning green thing? I don't even want to understand what it is and how it works. I find this quite strange, too. I think there's quite a lot of weird, nasty stuff in this guy's stomach. Look, this is a corridor with a huge rolling boulder, but this time it's green. Maybe these green things are his boogers or something else, but let's hope they're just big green candies. Why the hell are there lights or something in this guy's stomach? It seems to me that his body is better equipped than some apartments. I hope we don't see anything even weirder next. The only strange thing I can notice now is the Lego pieces again. I think this guy should definitely stop eating them because they can't be digested in the stomach. In addition to the Lego pieces, the bones are arranged in a very strange way. They are definitely not part of his skeleton. And why is there a spiral staircase around his spines? I have too many questions for this guy. Maybe he's a cyborg? Guys, I'm tired of repeating this, but I'll do it again, and maybe you'll remember it forever. This is Roblox, and there is no logic in it. Look, this guy has a conveyor belt in his stomach, and I'm not even surprised by it anymore. Okay, okay, you convinced me. I won't even be surprised that we now climbed up with the help of his farts or burps. But the fact that we now see Celery here surprises me a little, because this guy is definitely not a fan of healthy eating. There are four whole pieces of Celery here, do we really have to wear them and come back for them every time? I think we can be a lot smarter and use just three of them. Wow, is this some kind of speedrunning trick? I'm very surprised at how your logic works. This is great. Well now, let's go back for the third piece of celery and try to get through this map without using the fourth. I'm very interested in how we will do this. In fact, everything is very simple. There is not such a long distance here that you need to use celery and put a bridge. Here you can just jump over and... Great. We reached some hole. I hope this is not the hole I thought about. Well, look, there's a speed run here. It's a lot like the energy drink speed run like in Barry's Prison Break. Well, I really like this part of the game because here your character develops enormous speed. Yes, this is really very cool. I really like high speed in games. By the way, guys, recently I was in a toy store and saw this doll. She reminded me a lot of someone from my friends, but I couldn't remember who. Who does this doll remind you of? Write about it in the comments. This location is very big. Just look, now a boss fight awaits us. Looks like we'll have to fight off a huge crowd of kids who really want to kill us. We'll have to do it with a celery cannon. There are so many of them. And besides ordinary babies, there are also red babies who jump. They are very hard to aim and very hard to hit. We need to be very careful and kill them first so that they don't get to us. We have already defeated almost half of the kids. Push Jax, just a little left. I hope we won't die in this test because we beat this game very well without dying even once. I'm sure Jax will succeed. He's a professional shooter. Just remember how he managed to hit all targets in Minecraft with a bow and trident. Only a few babies left. Great Jax, you did it. Well, this game was quite interesting. There were a lot of different challenges, but it was also full of all sorts of nasty things. Nasty things? Seriously? Do fans of the game Help Me Tricky Puzzle have any things that they consider disgusting? 
Is this a car shaped like a big baby's head? Seriously? This looks really weird. I thought they would give us some cool car like a Porsche or Ferrari. For these cars, you need to play Gran Turismo or something. Well, great. We beat this game. She was really very interesting. And now we're moving on to the next game. Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Jax is really a clown. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. Hello, everyone, dear friends, and today we will find out how well we know the truth about ourselves. Seriously, quiz about us? Who even thought of making a video about this? We know ourselves better than anyone. Well, let's start with the easiest questions. I think it doesn't take a genius to guess which one of them is the Kingler. Hmm, which one am I? Let's think about it. Surely this will be the right option. I haven't seen Kofmo for so long that I forgot what he looks like. Well, I know that this is Kane, so this definitely must be Kofmo. I think you don't need to be a genius to guess the right option. Look, this type of Kofmo is already more familiar to me. Well, let's choose the right option. I don't think you should choose the right option. I definitely don't look so weird. Wait, did you really say that I look strange? No, I meant that. Um, yes, okay. I said you look weird, but you're just a huge flying jaw with eyes. Stop swearing. The previous test was quite easy. Now let's choose something more difficult. The first question was pretty easy. Now let's choose which of these am I. The right option is definitely wrong. Kane doesn't even play with dolls, so I think we need to choose a jaw. Well, this was the right option. Wait, two options? Triangle and bubble? I think the right option suits the bubble better. Let's choose the left option. But here we need to choose the right option, because Kofmo has always been a clown. Well, that was the right answer. Now let's choose the option that suits Regatta. This is definitely not an option with masks, so we will choose the option with a doll. It is very easy. We definitely shouldn't choose the rabbit option because I'm not Jax. Okay, now we need to choose which one is more like Jax, and we already know the answer from the previous question. This quiz was also very easy. I wonder if there will be anything more complicated here. So far we are coping with everything very easily. Maybe there will be a question here about what color are my panties. It seems to me that you definitely don't know the answer to this question. To be honest, I don't even want to know the answer to this question. Let's take this quiz. Here, you need to solve puzzles. Well, on the first question, you need to understand what happens if you combine a crown and a chess piece. I think it's obvious that this is Kinger. Why are there no buttons here? I have to write everything by hand. Well, triangle and crab? I don't even know who it could be. Are you seriously? I'm just sure that the right option is Zubal. Jax, why are you taking so long to type? It shouldn't be that difficult. You also spelled her name wrong. Why did you add that sign at the end? Guys, he left the computer for a while. I sat down to play. Look, our next option is with a clown. I think the correct option would be Jax. Yes, I completely agree with you. Jax is really a clown. But unfortunately, the correct answer is Kofmo. Because Kofmo is a clown in reality. Guys, I'm back. Wait, did you really think it was me? Haha, <laughs> very funny joke. But here you don't need to be a genius to answer correctly. The correct answer is, it's me, Gangle. Wait, why is everything answered correctly here already? Well, okay, we already know that the correct answer is Jax. Wait, what should I answer here? And our subscribers should answer this question. Guys, write in the comments which character is encrypted in this puzzle. We look forward to your answers and we will definitely like the correct answers. Well, did you leave a comment? Great, and now we move on to the next quiz. But this is already interesting. Here we need to choose the right photo. Let's run after this guy. I can't understand how these photos are different. I think they only differ in the color of the shoes. Well, let's trust our intuition and go to the left answer. We haven't made a single mistake so far. Well, here it seems to me that the left answer will also be correct. It seems to me that the color of Jax's overalls has never been Nishin or orange. Pink would be the correct answer. What color is the bubble usually reflected in? It seems to me that it's definitely not blue or pink. I think we need to choose the option in the middle. Great! He was right! Now we need to guess the color of the Gangle's tears. Obviously, they should be blue. I think gold and red tears look too silly. Well, let's choose the right option. Great! We've moved on. Um, Zubal, would you happen to remind me what color your head is? Are you f***ing serious asking this question now? Let's pretend that I didn't hear him. Well, you need to choose the right canines. The side options look too unrealistic. 
but in the middle is the best. Great, he was faithful. A green dress? It looks simply terrible. Basically the same as pink, but purple suits regatta best. Great, we passed this quiz. Now let's move on to the next one. Gloves. How can they even relate to our cartoon? Hmm, which quiz should we choose? I think that a quiz with minor characters would be the best option. It will actually be a little more difficult. This quiz is already for real fans of our cartoon. I think everyone knows that the correct answer is gloinks or a gloink. These are the most annoying characters in our cartoon. Great, we guessed right. Here the correct answer is the sun. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that the sun and moon are depicted here. Why are these questions even here? Perhaps because we haven't shown many minor characters yet? Oh my god, it's the gloink queen. I don't want her to appear in our videos anymore. After it, I constantly have to get used to my real voice again. This quest was too easy too. Guys, let's choose something really hardcore. I want to answer some tough questions. Let's choose the coolest quiz. I think the quiz with eyes will be boring, just like the quiz with posters. Oh, this already looks interesting. Guess the character by the drawing of his person. I think it's obvious that a regatta is depicted here. By the way, this drawing looks very cool. Yes, I would also like someone to draw me in the same style. Look, who is this? I think this girl is very similar to Pomni. Let's find out whether we are right or wrong. Great, this was the correct answer and we move on to the next drawing. Who could it be? This is very similar to Kinger. I also recognized him by the image of a cross that looks like a cross on his head. Well, let's check if we are right or wrong. And we guessed right again. Great! Well, this picture is already very light. This girl looks like Zubel because I see a triangle sticking out of her pocket. Yes, I also think that this is very similar to me. Cool, we guessed right. Hmm, now this is a really complex picture. Maybe a uh, regatta is depicted here? I really can't understand who they were trying to portray here. Well, I think it's worth trying the regatta version. This is the wrong answer. Well, guys, this is where your help is really needed. Write in the comments. Who do you think is shown in this picture? Guys, it depends on your answer whether we will progress further in this game or not. Well, thanks for the correct answers. So let's move on! Look, this is the last picture. I think it's obvious that this guy is Jax because he has a bag of chips in his hand. He constantly throws these chips all over the circus. Great! We beat this game. This game was quite fun and interesting. I hope that you answered with us and that you answered all the questions correctly. If you like the way we answer these quizzes, be sure to like this video and write about it in the comments. And we move on to the next game. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. Sorry, am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. Hey buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Oops, looks like you fell. Hello everyone, dear friends, and today we will play Pomni Zobby with you. Oh my god, just look at this location. She is so huge. I'm wondering how quickly we can get through it. So far we are still in the first stage and this game does not look difficult. I think we can complete it faster than anyone else. I wonder what awaits us at the end. It's very cool that they made a whole game for me. Just look how beautiful everything is here. They even made a statue of me on the left. She looks really cool. I think she looks pretty creepy. She watches our every move. It's pretty creepy. Do you see how creepy her look is? Those wide eyes look like she's afraid of us. My friend, I think you shouldn't have repeated the word creepy so many times. We all understood that you were scared. I don't think this statue looks creepy. She looks really cute, and she really does look a lot like Pomni. The main thing is that she doesn't start shooting lasers at us from her eyes or something like that. I wouldn't want her to stop us from going through this obby. We have already passed eight stages, and now we will find ourselves on the ninth. I wonder how many stages there are in total. Judging by the progress bar, there may be about 100 of these stages. Just look at this funny stretched face of our friend. Hey, Pomni, do you like the way you are portrayed here? I think this looks very funny. Stop judging the creators of this map, Jax. They simply couldn't find a suitable photo of my face on the internet that could be stretched out like that. Anyway, I like what they did. This flatters me very much. Yes. I agree with her. It's a shame that no one made a map like this for me. I would really like to complete a map called Regatta Obby. I think that would be pretty cool. What about me? 
Just imagine how cool a map would look in which you have to go through a huge, difficult obby and then also jump into my mouth. I think this would be the best map in all of Roblox. Well, now we have a cool trail that comes straight from our back. It would be great if it speeded us up a little, but I don't think it works that way. Either way, at least it looks cool. Well, now let's run forward. We are still only at the 17th stage. We need to speed up a little in order to reach the finish line as quickly as possible. I completely agree with Zubal. There are still a huge number of tests ahead of us, but so far all the tests we are going through are very easy. We just almost fell. Well, now let's be more careful. Oh, just look. A task awaits us in which we need to guess the right path. I hope we can do it the first time. Uh, oh my god, I'm really pro at this game. Have you seen? I passed it the first time. I don't think anyone has managed to do this yet. I think it's time for me to take the superpower test. It seems to me that the only superpower that this test can reveal in you is super annoying and super stupid. You're a real pro at this. And in a task in which you need to guess the right path, you are simply lucky. Let's see how you perform on the next similar task. Come on, you don't even let me enjoy small victories. Well, okay, I agree. Let's see what happens on the next similar task where only luck rules. Even I was interested to see what would happen when Jax had to choose the right path next time. I hope that such a task will still be in this obby. Otherwise, we will never know who was really right. We've already gone through as many as 27 stages and that's only a quarter of this game. This obby is really very long. It seems to me that its creator did a really great job on it because there are a huge number of different tasks. Of course they are light, but nevertheless they are very interesting. I completely agree with you. I didn't think that any of my fans would be able to take the game he would create for me so seriously. I'm very pleased with this. Thank you very much to my beloved fans for creating games like this. I hope that someday they will create similar games for all of us and we will all go through them on our channel. The main thing is that it's not Jax who does it. I would like to complete the game about me myself. I really like the color scheme of this game. It's made in Pomni's colors. It really stands out. It seems to me that the creator of this game is truly a genius. Look, is it just me? Or is there a task ahead in which you need to guess the right path? Well, let's see how Jax handles this. With the first stick he guessed right, but with the second, unfortunately, failure. Well, Jax, you still want to try the superpower test in. Calm down. Sometimes people make mistakes. But I was able to guess the correct path the second time. I think this is also worthy of respect. Well, I hope that I will no longer have to deal with such tasks because you pay too much attention to them. But I just hope that it will be the other way around so that we can see how you screw it up. Look, there is another task like this ahead. Now we will see how well your intuition works. I think the first one should be yellow. Okay, you decided to do the opposite and you were right. Well done, Jax. But this time you guessed wrong. It's good that the wrong paths don't kill us. They simply don't let us forward. It would be difficult to remember the entire correct route, wouldn't it? It remains to choose the last correct path, and I think that the correct one will be blue. But no, I was wrong. Okay, no big deal. In any case, we didn't spend much time in this test, and now we can move forward. By the way, we have already completed 43 stages, and that's more than half of this entire game. Who said that there are about 100 tasks here? I think this is a misconception. I just now started to notice that a large number of tests are sometimes repeated. It's very sad that the creators of this map didn't have enough imagination to make each of these tasks unique, but it seems to me that it would be very difficult. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with that. The game is quite interesting without it. I think you're expecting too much from this game. Buddy, it's just Obby. Here you just need to pass the tests. It seems to me that if new tasks were added here, it would be absolutely not in the style of Obby. So in any case, everything that has been done here looks very beautiful and cool. And it seems to me that nothing else needs to be added to this game. Huge statue of Pomni is getting closer and closer to us. I'm looking forward to when we reach the finish line of this game and find out what we will get for completely completing this obby. It would be great if there was a leaderboard here. It seems to me that we could definitely be on the list of record holders for this game. I really doubt it because in this game you can donate Robux to get various boosts. And it seems to me that there was definitely someone who had already donated Robux to this mode and completed the entire game using an airplane carpet or something like that. 
I think it's a little unfair when boosts can get you on the leaderboard. I think that we need to make two separate leaderboards in one of which there will be players who completed this map without using boosts, and in the second there will be those who donated to this game. It would be much fairer and more interesting. I think you're right! It would really be much more correct and honest. By the way, look, we are almost at the 60th stage. We have very little left. It seems to me that there are only 80 stages in this game, and I hope that we will be able to complete it as quickly as possible. I'm still very interested in what awaits us at the end of this game. It would be great if at the end of this game you would give us various boosts with which we can fly around the entire OBI and prevent other players from passing it. That would be really cool. And we could make these players hardcore in this game. But in fact, I'm glad that no one stopped us from playing this game, and we completed it very quickly. There are only a few tests left to go through, and we will go straight to the Pomni's mouth. Great! And here's the last one. We are already at the finish line. Just look at her funny face. Why is she so sad? I think she's not very happy that she has to eat little Roblox players. Well, it's good that we managed to beat this game. Now, let's climb this spiral staircase to the secret room where our prize awaits us. And here is the staircase to the top. Well, now we will find out what really awaits us. Oh, just look. This room is full of boosts. Do you know what this means? This means that now we are going to stop little players from completing this game to the end with the help of this magic carpet. Cool. I am very happy about it. And here is our first victim. Hey, buddy, do you really want to beat this game? Well, then you will have to try, little, because I am here to stop you. Sorry. Am I disturbing you too much? Oh no, I think you fell. What? Here comes another player. Hey buddy, maybe I can help you a little? I'm ready to add a little rainbow here. Maybe she will speed you up. I think we added too much rainbow and he fell down. Well, let's now stop the third person from completing this obby to the end. Buddy, look. Looks like it rained recently and the sun came out. Now there's a rainbow all around. I hope she doesn't bother you too much. It seems to me that it will be very difficult for you to jump over these balls if someone interferes with you, right? Oops, looks like you fell. Well, let's move on to the next game. 